Hello to our St. Paul's family. As you can tell, I'm coming to you from our beautiful sanctuary. John Wesley believed that regular worship attendance was a means of grace for us. And I realize that in these days, regular worship attendance is going to mean something different. I don't know if you all are familiar with the hymn that goes, I am the church, you are the church, we are the church together. All who follow Jesus all around the world, yes, we're the church together. The church is not a building, the church is not a steeple. The church is not a resting place. The church is the people. So no matter where you are, no matter where you're gathered, we continue to be the church together. In a variety of new and imaginative ways, we continue to be the people that God has called us to be. We continue to reach out to others, but that may look different in all sorts of ways. It may be that kind of old-fashioned way, like calling up someone on the telephone. We're also looking at ways that you can help out, like volunteering at the Houston Food Bank. Right now, there's a shortage of bread and fruit at the Emergency Aid Coalition. They continue to serve 350 sack lunches every day. So maybe when you're out at the grocery store and you are picking up bread for your family, you might just need one loaf. But maybe you could pick up two loaves, that second loaf, and drop it off here at the EAC. Or some fruit or some individual trail mix snacks or even a bar of soap. The AC is open to receive those items Monday through Friday from 9 in the morning till 1 in the afternoon. I hope that if there are needs that you have or you know that the community has, you'll let us know. You can always email me at pastor at stpaulshouston.org because I'll be in prayer for you and for others who are asking for those prayers. Finally, I wanted to offer you an extra way to be in worship together. It's called the Love Feast. The Love Feast is a Christian fellowship meal that reminds us of meals that Jesus shared with his disciples during his ministry. It has a long history in the church and it's a way of celebrating our community and our lives together. One of the advantages is that Christians can conduct a Love Feast service whether they're by themselves or with their family or a group of friends gathered together. I know the CDC recommends that group of friends be 10 or less. There's prayers and there's scripture reading and hymns and, and an important part of the love feast is sharing some ordinary food. It might just be some rolls or bread and some water or some cookies or fruit, whatever you might have. It might be a, a, some bread that your family baked together and then shares in that love feast. On the website, we're going to post the liturgy for the love feast. It will include suggested prayers and scriptures and hymns. I hope you'll remind, use that as a reminder of our family gathered together, even if we're gathering in all different places. I want to thank you for your prayers and your patience during this time and uh, continue those prayers in this time of grace and love. And I want to leave you with a, a wonderful song based on the 23rd Psalm, My Shepherd Will Supply My Need. And thank you to Chris and Wayne for supplying this music for us. Amen. <laughs>
stranger nor a guest but like a child at home